brothers and sisters, we gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Today the Church remembers Charles Stuart, King of England and Martyr. Born in 1600, the second son of James I, Charles became heir apparent when he was 12 years old on the death of his brother. He succeeded to the throne in 1625, when he came up against the increasing power of an antagonistic parliament. Combined with the religious Puritanism, which was prevalent, this made Charles staunch in his resistance of the power of either force in the land. He frequently dismissed sittings of parliament and tried to enforce high church Anglican practice on all throughout both kingdoms of England and Scotland. Opposition resulted in civil war. After Charles's imprisonment and trial, he was put to death on this day in the year 1649. Although some see him as a victim of his own pride, his faith and willingness to suffer and die for what he believed in are not in doubt. Saints were faithful unto death, and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses, and ask for his mercy. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, our, our heavenly Father, Father we have sinned, sinned against thee and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. King of kings and Lord of lords, whose faithful servant Charles prayed for those who persecuted him, and died in the living hope of your eternal kingdom. Grant us by your grace so to follow his example, that we may love and bless our enemies, through the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now I know that the Lord gives victory to his anointed, 
he will answer him out of his holy heaven with victorious strength of his right hand. O Lord, give victory, victory to the king. king. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon him. We will call upon the name of God. They collapse and fall down, but we will arise and stand upright. O Lord, give victory, victory to the king. Whoever wishes to be greatest among you must first be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must first be your servant. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to thee, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Holy Lord, as we remember your servant Charles, as we remember his death and master, we pray for your church in this country, for the Church of England, for our archbishops, bishops, priests, deacons and people. Pray for our King Charles III. Pray for the House of Parliament, for both the House of Commons and House of Lords. Pray for the civil servants, but for, we pray for the civil service and for all functioning departments of government. Pray, Lord, that peace may reign in this land. Help us to always go about debate and difference with the common good in mind. Lord, in thy mercy, Amen. hear our prayer. <clears throat> Just as we pray for peace in our own lands and peace in our own governance, we pray, Lord, for all countries where there is a lack of peace. Pray for Ukraine, Israel, Gaza and Palestine, for Yemen, for Afghanistan. our own government's response to international crises and issues. Continue to pray, O oh Lord, for those still suffering from the cost of living crisis. Pray, oh Lord, that we may be active servants of yours in the world to help those in need and to keep an eye for your coming kingdom. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Pray. pray for Karsholten that your blessing may be upon this place this day. Be with all your travel through, through Karsholten today. Be with all who work in Karsholten in whatever capacity. Pray for school for their candle mass service here in church this afternoon. Pray for the meeting of our All Saints Book Club this evening. Pray for the meeting of the Deanery Chapter this afternoon. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. So we pray for all of those 
those who are sick, especially those whose names are upon the altars of this church. Pray for those who have recently departed this life in thy faith and fear. Lord, in thy mercy. Hear our prayer. So, like Charles, prepare us, O Lord, to receive you in the blessed sacrament. Transform our hearts and minds to be ever willing to lay down our lives for you. Help us to be brave and courageous, O Lord, in our daily living. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of Blessed Mary, Charles, King and Martyr, and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May the God of peace sanctify you. May he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before him. At the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with our spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. They will become for us the bread of life and cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the heart unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is me to right so to do. Right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We rejoice in the glorious splendour of your majesty, for you have given us a share with Charles, King and Martyr, in the inheritance of the saints in light. In the darkness of this passing age, they proclaim the glory of your King. Chosen as lights in the world, they surround our steps as we journey on towards the city of eternal light, where they sing the everlasting song of triumph. In communion with angels and archangels, and all who have served you on earth, and worship you now in heaven, we raise our voices to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that's broken bread and wine outpoured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night
hours before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, Help us to work together for that day, when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Charles, King and Martyr, and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and to forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come unto my room, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. God, our Redeemer, whose church was strengthened by the blood of your servant Charles, so bind us in life and death to Christ's sacrifice, that our lives, broken and offered with his, may carry his death and proclaim his resurrection in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow Charles and all his saints in faith and hope and love, and to the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you today and always. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.